I found some new innovative businesses that you could start in Africa this 2024 and cash out big. This has to do with rentals, yeah. We are going to be talking today about 10 rental businesses that you could actually launch in different domains and make money for yourself. The advantage you have with rental businesses is the fact that all you need to do is invest in your fixed capital and you don't have to do the work. The client basically does all the work and you get your cash. You just invest and sit and make people know that you rent out any item of your choice and that's how you're going to be making good money and you know now everything is basically done online so if you could advertise your services online honestly you're going to be making good money for yourself so without wasting much of your time let's go straight into it and if you are new here my name is Elvin Jig and you're watching Africa today So the first on our list is rentals for baby items or items you know tourists will need when they come into your city, all right? So this business has to do with basically everything you know tourists will need. And you know, most times when people come into a city on vacation or on holiday with their family, they need certain things that they can travel along with to their destination. So that's where you are going to be stepping in with your rentals to service them. So this business is actually suitable for places like airports or hotels or events, places where you know visitors come for a certain reason. So you could let people know in your city that you offer such services or you have certain items for rent or you could as well set up a website where people go to for such items or better still you could go to places like airport like I said physically stand in airports or have a place in the airport where you've got your items available for visitors and here we are talking of things like let's say baby cribs baby strollers baby car seats baby toys and many more so basically all of those things that you you think a family could need that they couldn't maybe be transporting you just go for them and you are sure going to be making good profit the next on our list is camera and drone rentals yes this is one of the newest businesses that if you invest your money in you are going to be making very huge profit this is because most creators don't have the funds to maybe buy good cameras or drones very few people can afford drones or even think of buying one so if you make drones available in africa i can assure you that you are going to be making millions in no time lots of creators really do want to invest in such but at times they don't have the funds yet to do so so if they know a place where they could go and rent a drone or rent a camera they are sure going to be doing that i remember back in the days there's this friend of mine who really wanted to have drone shots in their video but they couldn't lay hands on any drone here in cameroon i'm talking about cameroon right they couldn't lay hands on any drone available and that goes same with lots of african countries right now so you could just set up your little shop and have a website where you let people know or even social media pages where you let people know that you've got lots of cameras and drones available for them you know nowadays lots and lots of people are joining the social media sphere and are joining the content creation community so there is a huge market for such a business this is one of the most lucrative on the list and I can assure you. Next on is the agricultural machine rentals. Yes, this business obviously is one of the most lucrative in Africa because lots of people are investing in the cultivation of various crops. A lot of people have understood that the future actually lies in agriculture, but unfortunately, they don't have the funds to buy things like bulldozers, caterpillars, tillers, weeders, mowers, and all the like. So all you need to do is step in with the rentals of these machines. Machines. You just import your machines and you let people know that you've got them for rent and you're going to be making lots of money. And generally, this business is so lucrative because it is rented per hour. Agricultural machines are always rented per hour and they aren't cheap. A bulldozer, for example, rents for about $200 minimum. Imagine having three to five clients a day. That's how you're going to be making $1,000 at least per day if you actually make your services known. So this is not business to neglect, all right? That 
leads us to the next point here, which is real estate equipment rentals. Yes, this just goes almost like the previous one because it has to do with machines also, all right? But now we are talking about machines that have to do with the real estate industry. There are lots of machines. You know, nowadays we have what we call the plastering machine, the brick molding machine, and even the borehole drilling machine. Those machines are very expensive and are in huge demand. So if you can invest just in these three machines or in one of these machines, honestly, you're going to be making lots of money. There is also the concrete mixer that people rent a lot in Africa. And just like the agricultural rentals, the real estate rentals also are done per hour. So you are going to be renting them out per hour. So invest in any of these machines and you're going to be thanking me later. Next on is the car rentals. Yeah, this one is not really something new, but it's something that has been gaining ground more and more because people now rent cars for various reasons. Unlike before where people used to rent cars, maybe just if they are visiting a city or they are tourists, now lots of people rent cars. Even people who live in that city rent cars for various reasons. There are people who rent cars for their weddings, people who rent cars for maybe to attend an event. You know now we are in the social media era where some some people do things for the gram and they will go to any extent to portray an image that is not there. So there are people who actually rent cars on daily basis or for a week or for two weeks just to impress certain people or for some particular reason. So whichever the reasons are, you as a car rental owner, you are making money. And some people go to the extent of renting cars with drivers because it all depends on the type of cars you are renting out. If the cars are so expensive, I would advise you rent them out with drivers because there are some people who are so reckless that they could leave a cushion right we know all of those people are going to be keeping something like cushion but if your car is so expensive you don't want to take chances all right because at times the cushion they deposited can't even pay one one thousandth of the cost of that car so you don't want to take chances at all and another tip i have for you here is if you are dealing with the car rental services you can add an additional service wherein you get like two or three drivers available to do pickups in the airport let people know or keep your contact in the airport or have a website where you make people book your drivers to come and pick them up from the airport, take them to their destinations, be it their guest houses or their family homes and come and carry them back to the airport whenever they are traveling back. This is a strategy that if you make good use of, you are sure going to be making extra income more than your competitors. So the next on our list is furniture rentals. Yeah, with furniture rentals, we are talking here of renting out tables, chairs, and stands for events. So people rent them basically for different events, be it their birthdays or whatever they want to do with, they rent them from you. And you know what to do? You just need to make your services public and people are going to be contacting you, all right? If you can have your own social media pages or pay people to advertise your business for you, you are going to be making sure money. Next on our list is event rentals. The difference between furniture rentals and event rentals is the fact that there are other additional items. But with event rentals, you are also going to be renting out tables and chairs and stands. But in addition, you are going to be renting out things like plates, bowls, trays, cutlery, table naps, flowers, all the decor items you could think of, basically everything that makes an event, everything that is used to decorate an event or to make an event functional, you are renting them out. So that's what we refer to when we are talking of event rentals. And looking at the magnitude of parties Africans throw on daily basis, you can imagine how much you are going to be making from such a business, right? We've got weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, baby showers, and many others. So there's no way you can't make profit if you invest invest your money in such a business. So go get us. Before we go to the next point, please do well to like this video already if you're finding value in it. And also, I would love to thank our subscribers who've subscribed to the membership and are helping the channel grow. That said, if you aren't subscribed to the membership yet, please rush and check which option suits you and subscribe because we've started uploading on there and you don't want to miss the exclusive content we've got on there. That said, let's move to the next on our list which has to do with the clothing rentals. Yes, here we are talking about renting dresses or 
costumes, whichever thing you know that people could be wearing for a particular event, this is that business. But here in particular, I am going to be advising you go for bridal gowns, right? Bridal dresses, because it is so lucrative. There are lots of people who would love to wear something exquisite, something breathtaking, but they don't have the means to buy it, all right? They don't have the means to afford it. So you can step in with such dresses and you are going to be making lots of money, all right? Be it for the bride or the groom, you come up with beautiful, elegant costumes and bridal dresses and rent them out. Basically, with this business, you better have a beautiful shop. It mustn't be big, right? A small, beautiful shop with a transparent window or door or glass, very big, wherein passerbyers can admire the dresses already and you make your services known online. You could open your website where you also make your service available there. And honestly, if your dresses outstand on the market and are very modern and up to date, you are obviously going to make lots of sales and good profits for yourself because you are investing in particular dresses and you are renting them out all the time to different people and at different rates, convenience and your mood and just be making more profit all the time. Next on our list is house cleaner rentals. This is something that is not really popular but is very, very lucrative. So you can have your small agency where you train cleaners or where you hire cleaners and rent them out to people who need them. There are people who've got big houses, big mansions that they can really take care of themselves. So they often sought out for cleaners to come and clean their houses for them. It could be done on daily basis, weekly, every fortnight, or maybe monthly, depending on the agreement you're going to be having with them. So they could actually subscribe to your services for a particular amount of times per week, per month, or they could simply send their their agents and you pay upon service. So this is that business that you might neglect but which is very very profitable nowadays. So last but not the least is the Airbnb business. I've talked about this business already on the channel and it is quite very profitable. So I gave a big secret about the Airbnb business and that I advise you definitely to check it out because you are going to be wowed at the secrets I gave in that video. So if you're interested in knowing more about the Airbnb Airbnb business and the secret to owning an Airbnb business without spending much money, you definitely need to watch this video, alright? That said, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one.